morning. This is the final occasion for the jukebox on the road. On the way, we are in a very smart lecture theatre in one of the most striking landmarks on the Fylde coast. Uh, a building that looks like it should be called the Kennedy Space Centre. You know it well. It's actually National Savings on Preston New Road. And the room we're in, well, it looks like uh, the set-off for Generation game, really. But actually, this is the very centre of the universe. If you've got a premium bond, this is where it counts. Literally. This is the home of Ernie, and I'm just yards away from Ernie. It's just in front of me now, the famous, well, I was going to say computer. We'll find out exactly what Ernie is a little bit later. But we've got music on the programme today with lots of dedications, and the music flows along from John Waite and Mama Cass. We have Madness, Gary Glitter coming up later, the Bellamy Brothers and Simple Minds. Simple Minds and Alive and Kicking, kicking off the final jukebox on our tour of the file at ten past nine on the way. Quite an audience here, by the way. They're all actually sitting behind me at the moment. It's very strange, this, because I'm sitting at the front of the, of the audience. If you imagine it's a lecture theatre, I'm sitting right at the front. They're all behind me, but I'm going to mingle with you a little bit later, if you'll allow me to. OK, so uh, actually, just to prove you there, let's have a bit of a cheer. Go on, then. Hello. <laughs> the premium bonds, all right, and uh, the national savings staff here, and we mustn't forget that lot in St. Tans, give them a boo, go on. <laughs> uh, so uh, I know they're listening in St. Tans. Alive and Kicking was for Blackpool FC, uh, don't worry, our season isn't over, it is still alive and kicking. That's from Joe and Paul uh, in the Death Claims branch at uh, Premium Bonds. We have uh, a record on the way for Section 2 and Sue to Steve Owen of HEO uh, and DCB Level 3. Um, also, Terry wants a mention. And uh, Elaine says, uh, can I have a mention for all my workmates on uh, DEB9, is that right? I think so. And John Helm in management services to Nicola Helm, 13 years old today. Happy birthday, Nicola. Lots of love from mum and dad. And actually, we have the Bellamy Brothers. I said you had a beautiful body. <laughs> Would you hold it against me? <laughs> yeah, what's your name then? Pat Hayward. Pat Hayward, and where do you work in the premium bonds? Or in national savings, should I say? Which department? Uh, DPB. Do you want to say a quick hello to anybody? Uh, my sister Maureen, uh, Ben Janet, all the girls in the office, and the ones I don't like, I'll say hello to them today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, there's a bit of that goes on here. It's, uh, okay, right, we've got some more music in just a moment. I must say that the next record, by the way, is uh, for all the staff in uh, CB. There's Paul Sawyer dedicating that one to you. Uh, CB being the correspondence branch at Lytham St. Towns. We haven't forgotten you there. It's 9.15. To make your bonfire... Morning, National Savings on Preston New Road in the Ernie Lecture Theatre. I didn't like where I was sitting before, so I'm sort of mingling now. We're mixing around with the crowd here. And uh, Paul Sawyer, yes, this is yours. Correspondence branch at Lidham St. Towns for all the gang there. King of Wishful Thinking coming along from Go West. Hope you enjoy this one. No, nice sorry. Well, there we are, the king of wishful thinking, coming to you live today from uh, Preston New Road in Blackpool and Ernie, the home of Ernie. This is the National Savings Centre and uh, the premium bonds, of course, the Ernie machine or whatever it is, I'm about to find out, is uh, right opposite me. Uh, Jerry Wollstonehome is with me now. He's the prize draw manager. That's correct, Jerry? That's correct, Simon. Good yes. morning. How are Good you? Good morning. Very okay. well, thank you. You? Now, how long have you been in charge of, uh, of Ernie then? Three years now. Three years. Yes. But you've been here actually quite a bit longer than that, haven't you? Yes, I've been in National Savings 20 years. 20 years. Uh, so, Ernie, it's not a computer, I understand. Everybody oh, no. thinks it's a computer. In fact, some people do believe it's a, actually a real person. Yes, there are a lot of people who believe it's a real person, but it's certainly not a computer. It's, um, I heard a story that he actually receives Christmas cards, is that right? Well, certainly Christmas card, <laughs> Valentine's cards, everything. <laughs> OK, really, Valentine's cards. So, uh, what, what, if it's not a computer, what is Ernie, or what is he? It's simply a random number generator. Mm. So what does Ernie stand for? It stands for Electronic Random Number Generating... Uh, <laughs> 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 electronic <laughs> Random Number yes. Indicating <laughs> Equipment. Yes, yes I, I'm a new boy, just I, started today. So I, I'm I think we'll skip over that one. Um, okay, so uh, it's, it's very impressive, actually. It looks like a, a computer, but as you say, it's, it's just a random number processor. It and it, it sort of splurges every now and then with a load of, a load of prizes, does it then? So it, it comes out with the actual numbers of the premium bonds? It does, yes. And how often does it do that? Um, every month we have a monthly prize draw and we have weekly prize draws which generate three jackpot weeklies. So. so the actual prize draw is done in this very room? It is. And how, how is that done? Do you have to have witnesses here to see that it's all done properly? How does it go on? It's done under strict security conditions, yes, yep. and we have uh, an observer to make sure that there's no jiggery-pokery takes place. <laughs> so when did it all start then, this, uh, this premium bonds thing? 
Premium and Bob. When did Ernie first do his very first splurge? In June 1957 was the very first prize draw. Yeah. With the top prize of a thousand pounds. So before that, obviously a big push to, to get everybody b to buy the premium bonds. How long did that go on for? They went on sale in November of 1956 and for six months uh, eligibility period, and then the first prize draw in June the following year. Right. Okay. And uh, I, I suppose that Ernie took a lot longer in those. Days. Is it the same Ernie? No, this is Ernie Mark Three. Mark Three. Yes. I wondered about that. So uh, it, I, I understand that in those days it took something like three days, didn't it, to actually generate those numbers? It certainly took a long time, and, and the Ernie Mark Two was much quicker. But this particular one generates 500,000 numbers for 250,000 prizes in about two hours. So roughly, off the top of your head. Uh, Jerry, how many uh, millions of pounds would you think you've given away over the years in prize money? Very, very many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be. A pop do you ever get? Uh, do you get? Do you ever get people uh, come up to you and offer you bribes or anything to try? I wish they would. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing I could do about it if they did. Unfortunately. Only kidding, of course. Yes. All right. Well, thanks very much indeed, Jerry, the prize draw manager. We'll find out a lot more, I think, about Ernie and premium bonds and indeed national savings before the programs out. I've got to just do this dedication because this is a couple of birthday mentions. John Kettlestring uh, on his efforts last Friday. Oh yes, and to Bob Collister, get in trading. For your John Travolta act at the uh, Christmas disco from all on section 5 the personnel branch you wouldn't believe the record have a listen to this <laughs> so there it was for that lot, the oldest swinger in town, and didn't they just deserve it, okay? That was uh, Fred Wedlock. Now, Jerry, before, uh, before you just said, uh, can I do, uh, do a quick mention? I forgot to uh, let you do it so quickly now. Right. Was for Steve Hargreaves, who's idling his time away at home, the next record. And for Not De the last record. Well, <laughs> yes, I suppose it could have been. And for yeah. Deborah Wollstone, who's actually working in the centre of Blackpool at Snowflake Analysis. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. We've got a beautiful record coming in now from John Ways and Missing You. Uh, and uh, this comes from actually this is one for Andy Mitchell back at the studio from Karen McLaughlin who works here oh yes and uh, enjoying the jukebox Karen glad to hear that an income repayments okay so uh, here's one for you Karen 27 minutes past nine and John waits oh we have some lovely music on all chosen I must say by the people both here in the uh, Blackpool offices on Preston New Road not forgetting those uh, down in uh, sunny St Anne's 9.30 right now on the way Coming up next for uh, Albert, tell him to stay in for once because Jane is going to phone him. That's from Jane and Jerry, hello there. And also congratulations on moving into new house Simon and Nina from All In Repays here at National Savings. <laughs> That's the one coming from uh, Madness on the jukebox, driving in my car. Uh, we have a lady here called Kelly. Kelly, sorry, Kelly, what's your name? Bateman. She, Kelly Bateman. Yeah. And uh, you're Miss Premium Bonds. Yeah. That's right. I read about Miss Premium Bonds every year, uh, and uh, I see that you're you're the pre Miss Premium Bonds for 92. You're not yes. actually wearing your, your Premium no, Bonds sash at the moment, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so did you? how did you actually become Miss Premium Bonds? Uh, what happens? Well, there was a competition at the Cliffs Hotel earlier on this year. Right. And there was about 18 girls, and it was like a big night, and got interviewed and had a walk round and I won. And it was good fun, was yeah, it? Yeah, we had a really good night. Okay, did you actually win any prizes along the um, way? Yes, I got um, £150 cash. Ooh. I got a meal for two. Okay. A big um, stereo cassette thing. Um, and you're enjoying it? Yes, I'm having a really so good So you're, you're sort of, you reign for a whole year, yeah. how long till? Um, next May. Next May? Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Well, uh, so uh, do you want to say a quick hello to anybody before we uh, move on um, to... I'll say hello to my little sister Claire who's listening at home All and right. my mum and dad. Okay, then. Uh, where, whereabouts do you live then? Is it uh, in Blackpool? Yes. Right, okay. And then along to uh, Julia Peters. Now, Julia, you, you organise the charity events. I do, yeah. Uh, there's actually yeah. a couple of main events each year, aren't there, I yes, believe? Yes, two fundraising events. And do you Tuesday. get all the staff involved? Yes, everybody gets involved. Both at St Anne's and yes, at uh, that's right, Blackpool, it's a joint yeah? Effort. Okay, whereabouts do you work at yourself then? Which I'm in personnel. Okay, and what, the what's the next charity event coming up? It's in November, it's a week in November. Right, and, uh, and what, what is it? What are you doing? Well, um, people organise what they do themselves, but they have... Oh, I see. So it's like... They do their own. And, and all the various departments get involved. And is it, right, is it yeah. sort of quite competitive to see who can raise the most money? Um, no, we, we try to make it a joint effort just to raise as much money as we can all together. Good. OK, so team effort, eh? Yes. All right, well, thank you very much indeed, Julia. And Kelly. Oh, do you want to say a quick hello? Just to my new colleagues in personnel branch and my old colleagues in financial services. All right, I hope you like... Hope they're listening. Do you like music from the 60s? Yes, look. Okay, it. we have Mama Cass here. <laughs> the wave 96.5. Morning.
listening to me live on 96.5 from National Savings on Preston New Road at 18 minutes to 10. And uh, Gary Glitter now for everybody in ADP. Keep your peckers up. That's the message from the Jolly Green Giant. Uh, also to our great and respected thespian, uh, oh, thespian, H-E-O, Bernard Melling, from all the staff at Death Flame Stock Group 3. And a quick one for Penelope Pitstop, the perfect prankster from the girls on New Purchase. <laughs> Me? Oh yeah, I feel actually like, um, what's that fellow on TV called Kilroy who dashes around the audience. I'm in the lecture theatre here. This is actually the room, if you just tuned in, where Ernie does his random selecting of the numbers of the premium bonds. So if you talk to them nicely here, they might just fix it for you. You never know. Uh, so nobody knows who's going to be next, but I'm going to dash up to somebody now and say, hello. Hi. <laughs> what's your name? Uh, Terry. Terry, which department do you work in here then? Uh, premium savings bonds, forms duty. Okay, are they a good bunch down there? Oh yeah, good bunch, okay, yeah. All right, anybody from St Anne's here today, from the St Anne's office? You're all from Blackpool, aren't you? Yeah, the St Anne's lot, they're a bit left out, but we haven't forgotten you about you. Now, what's your name? Trevor. And you're in the same department, are you? No, DCB39. Okay, what, what do you do then? What does that mean? That's all, uh, that's all sort of um, Dutch to me. It's dealing with death claims when someone dies and they've got stock. <laughs> Um, okay, and uh, so you, you kept pretty busy, are you? Very busy, very busy indeed, yeah, yeah. And do you want to say hello to some of the staff down there? Yeah, all the ones on 39 who are doing a lot of hard work. Can you play a record for him, one of Queen's? We have Queen next, actually. That's, uh, that's just lucky, actually, because we have Queen, and also I have some more dedications here, dedicated to the hard-working staff on DCB40. Just, just as it happens. Oh, right, next door. And Peter Pedersen in Bond's office. Uh, also Queen for Mum. What's for tea? Lots of love from Tilda in Bond's and Stock's prize branch. Uh, I mustn't forget uh, Queen also, and wish Janet Gregson a very safe and happy holiday, and tell her not to forget the sweeties. Ah, that's from customer service sections one and two in personal. Hey, Janet, send us a postcard. Here's Queen. So that's Queen and play the game. Also for uh, Blue to the black taxi driver and uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland in St Anne's and uh, Stan, who's uh, plodding the beat somewhere in central Blackpool. That's from Leslie at home. Hi, Mum. That's uh, DCB. And also uh, anyone can be an AO, it says here. Work is easy and the pay is low. The Section 3 posse, National Savings, CRS Section 3. I'm sure they don't mean it. Oh, they do. OK. And for Ian and all the lads at Brand the Better Butchers, Ian, uh, so Ian and Cheryl Kirby, uh, they work here in uh, PCK, National Savings. All these departments have some very strange lettering codes. But I don't know what it all means, but I hope you do. It means something to someone. We're back in just a moment with some dire straits. It's 10 to 10. Right now. Uh Live from National Savings on Preston New Road. Hello to uh, Jean Dean. She's enjoying a day off today. She's going to be helping Ernie on his, on his milk run. We've got the wrong Ernie there, I think, from all the colleagues in PARS. Also for R&RB purchases, premium bonds and tans, and the central training unit and R&RB user acceptance te testers. Hello, you lot. And a quick one here. Have fun on Halloween from Carol Downer in correspondence. I love Scott. OK, there we are. That was uh, a wonderful, wonderful track. Dire Straits and Romeo and Julia. Ian Jordanson, you're the, uh, the assistant controller for National Savings, yeah? Yes, I'm one of the, the six at work here at uh, this division. OK, we've, we've talked quite a bit in the programme so far about premium bonds, but National Savings isn't just about premium bonds. It's about more than that, isn't it? No, that's right. And, and certainly at uh, the bonds and stock office here, we, we do a lot of work with both income bonds and gilt edge securities. Um, in total, there's about 600 staff work on the stock side and somewhere in the region of 1,100 work for premium bonds. That's in Blackpool and St. Anne's That's combined. right, both yeah. combined. How long have you been here yourself then, uh, Ian? Oh, 31 years. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you'll have seen a good few changes in those years. Yeah. That's right. We've uh, changed quite a lot because at one point we were very much a clerical factory, but with new technology creeping in, um, the staff has slimmed down somewhat, but I think the jobs are a little more interesting, and there's a lot more work with keyboards than there used to be, and so direct links to computers. So the technology, I should imagine you, you do a lot of training in, t in the technology side, do That's you? That's right. Yeah. There is a special training unit to handle that. OK, and well, time, unfortunately, is not on our side, but many, many thanks. you want to say a quick hello to anybody? Um, yes, to Fiona and Julie on Level 8, to Lynn, who's not so well at the moment, and, in fact, to all the staff who are listening who haven't had any sort of dedication, and customers, too. Please keep buying the bonds. OK, thank you very much indeed, Ian. It's uh, the Supremes finally on the jukebox of baby love. Uh, this is for my daughter Debbie and baby granddaughter Chantelle from Mum. That's June Lake. She works in the prize draw branch.